The Holy Gospel according to Mark, the first chapter, verses 14 to 20. Now after John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God, and saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. As Jesus passed along the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fish for people. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. And he went a little farther, and he saw James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, who were in their boat, mending their, the nets. Immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired men and, and followed him. The hymn of the week this week is hymn number 549. Jesus calls us o'er the tumult of our life's wild, restless sea. The text was written by Cecil Francis Alexander, who also wrote All Things Bright and Beautiful. The tune that we're singing is, is David Hurd's tune. The old hymn book had the great Jesus calls us o'er the tumult, which is more of a march of a, a a large group of people marching together. David Hurd's song is more of a ballad, a love song, a Broadway show tune almost of, of singing from an individual, singing out towards God and a way of understanding that each and every one of us is called, called by God. The gospel this week is Jesus calling the apostles to follow him. In our birth, we are all born into a place, a time, a family, a part of history. We are all called to live into our time, called to live into our voice. There is a place and a time for each of us to, to share our story, to be a part of the common good, to be a part of the whole, and to speak forth our love song into the world to find that which is our passion, to find that which we were meant to be, to find our connection with the divine. This is a great song to remind us during this week of Christian unity, in which all religions, all faiths, all denominations are, have threads together. And in that, each and every one of us is called to follow, to follow God, to respond in our way, it's not always the same, but it is from our heart. It is from our mind, our body, our strength, our very soul, that we might too sing out, sing out our love, our concerns, our prayers, our hopes, our fears, our anxiety and our anger, but to sing to God our response, to move and, and to reply in grace and dignity. All of us are called by God, not just Peter, Andrew, James, and John, but each and every one of us. Let us join this great love song, a love song of the ages, 
the song in which has been been sung for generation after generation and the music of the past is stopping and our time is now here. And as the other voices are ceasing before us, our moment is now. Let us be bold, let us be clear, and let us be strong in our response. And yes, Lord, here we are. Here am I and I follow too. Amen. of all. 